Okay, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. All right, so David Johnson posted this on Currency 365 page. Uh, I think it's from DinarUpdates.com. So shout out to BGG and DinarUpdates.com. Uh, okay, so uh, it says here, um, a body advisor to IMF release first batch of loans to Iraq end of June. And I also think Red Star uh, comment on this as well. Um, okay, so... Uh, Let's see here. It says, uh, economic advisor to the prime minister of body said, uh, the end of the month of June will, uh, see the executive board of the international monetary fund endorsement of the granting of financial loans to Iraq agreement. Now we all believe that they've already gotten the loans, right? Um, they were able to pay Kuwait. Remember I did the video while I was on the basketball courts. They paid Kuwait the 9 billion. They owed them. They were paying the oil companies back. They were paying all the stuff. Uh, they couldn't pay all that stuff before so they they, they got the loans okay now these that this uh 5.4 billion that they're talking about we believe it's the lower denoms right so I, I, at least i believe that it's the lower denoms that are already in the banks that they're going to now distribute to the citizens okay uh which could be true or could be totally false. I don't know. You know what I mean? But I, we know that the lower denoms are in the banks. Okay. So, uh, and that was from, and the Rafidian Bank, uh, was it the uh, chief executive or the Rafidian Bank general manager or whatever the case may be? He, he made the statement that they were going to start issuing dollar coins to the citizens. What do you think that means? Okay. <laughs> That's the lower notes. Um, so we believe that the, and, and the lower notes were about five, five uh about five billion or five trillion dinars right so which is about five billion dollars okay so um yeah we're just then we're just guessing uh it, it makes sense but that doesn't mean it's it's true just because something makes sense doesn't mean it's true okay um we're just we're just guessing it's in our opinion um okay so it says here that um it says uh beginning uh says end of this june or the beginning of july they always say next July, which is coming up in July, uh, to approve the granting of loans uh, to Iraq agreement and the start of the launch of the first installment of the loan amounting of $600 million. He said, um, uh, let's see here, government's commitment uh, to its steps to hold reforms stable at a far uh, vision to be approached to the, to the future. Okay, the IMF agreed last May to give... Uh, Iraqi loan of 5.4 billion over three years. You know they gave they 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 agreed to do a lot of things. <laughs> you know they agreed to this 5.4 billion dollar loan. They agreed to a 15 billion dollar loan. We heard 10 billion dollar loan. We even we even heard oh you know what if you do if you pay Kuwait we'll give you up to 20 we'll give you 20 billion. So the numbers are just out of crazy. But we've heard this four 5.4 billion over and over again. So I, I've been believing that the 5.4 is actually true because it's been on so many articles. Uh, and then the rest of them are, are up and going up and down. 20 billion, 15 billion 10 billion uh 11.6 billion 11.8 billion <laughs> so you know it is what it is um it says here that uh spending on increased non-oil revenues and the payments of errors of oil companies yeah they're going to be paying all they they had they made a statement that they're going to be paying all oil companies back by the end of the year every oil company we pay back i wonder how that's going to happen uh you know you raise your rate you raise your value and you bring in the world i think that's going to make it happen right um so yeah, so they're going to be launching uh, all their programs here, the uh, industrial uh, program, the uh, the industrial, the agricultural, they'll, they'll be launching the private sector. Okay, so who is this by? Anyways, uh, Angel Eyes. Okay, shout out to Angel Eyes from Denar Updates. Um, so yeah, so they're going to be launching uh, the, with the CBI loans, they're going to be launching, I think the 6.5 trillion dinars they're going to be launching or 6.8 i don't know it's just so many different numbers but they're going to be launching the the agriculture the, the private sector the uh, industrial sector the real estate sector they're going to be launching all that i'm pretty sure everything will be launched almost the exact same time as the announcement schools completed right so and then we still want to hear from dr shabibi as well uh hope maybe he'll hold a press conference or uh or he'll talk to the citizens on the friday or or saturday at uh baghdad that square Tariq square i don't know i don't know because i saw two dreams of him 
speaking to so i don't know you know why would the lord show me these two dreams of him speaking if he's not going to speak you know what i mean so he's got I, I there's no way he doesn't hold a conference before he launches this okay uh this is 2012 all over again all right so they they, they got the money changers done everybody has the same rate of 1200 they got all everything is everything they they did it in, in june 2012 is exactly what they're doing now they got the loans ready to go to help them launch the global market economy they got everything ready to go the cbi is done the banks are ready to go the banking acts being uh um you know configured to uh, the uh, appropriate um, thing, which is already done. You know, Jabari was talking about re reconstructing the banking, the banking act law. It's already been done. Um, so all this stuff is done. And, uh, and we're now we're just waiting for uh, the, the manipulation of the mechanisms and to raise the value and stop the, the MCP. Okay. So we're back at the same thing of June, 2000 and, uh, and 12 we're right here again and they're, they're ready to go this time and i and without maliki in power um they should be successful this time and uh you know so the banks everything's ready the banks are ready to go everybody's ready to go and we just need to see this thing lift they just need to manipulate the mechanisms and they'll probably happen almost the same time as that they announced Fallujah, uh, Mosul completed, and you know I don't know if that's gonna if it's gonna be at the same time or if it's gonna be uh, a day later or two later or three days later. I don't know, or maybe it might be before Mosul is is, is, liber is announced liberated. I don't know. We're gonna find out together, and we're gonna find out here very soon because these loans are about to be launched to them publicly. They've already been given to them privately, uh, but publicly uh, they're gonna be launching these loans. Okay, so. If you're launching the loans, the IMF better turn that currency on. All right, so let's see what happens here in the next few days. Uh, this is going to be exciting. Let them tell us everything they're doing. Let them do it. You know what I mean? Last year, we tried to, we tried to uh, tell everybody what they were going to do. And this year, we're going to let them tell us what they're going to do and i think that's that that's the respect we we should have for for our country and and uh and for the people that are doing this instead of us trying to tell the world what they're going to do we you know what i mean and they they made it clear that they're, that's not going to happen okay so let them tell us what they're going to do okay and uh, i think that's it eyes open great news the loans publicly are about to be released end of june early july as they stated a couple months ago it was going to happen that way so here we are so peace out eyes open